What's up, everybody? Tyson Roush, Let's Talk Jets Radio. Hope everybody's doing great. I am. The Knicks had a great victory. Come from behind. Um, wild atmosphere in Madison Square Garden. Makes you crave live sports more than ever and concerts and everything else. But it's just so cool to see a team that's been downtrodden for so long that you almost stopped watching because they were unwatchable. They were awful. They finally have turned it around. And then they played an awful first half. Going into the third quarter, you're like, what do you expect out of this team? And then like late in the third quarter, fourth quarter, they just took off. And it's just remarkable to see Coach Sala was in attendance. He probably now he gets a taste of New York sports when they're at their best. I mean, when you're when you're playing well and playing with pride and passion and everything else, you can be the king of New York. And he saw it firsthand here. So hats off to the Knicks. The series is one one. Basketball is back, and it's it's super exciting. Um, if you bought a shirt up until today, I mailed them all out, so you should have them. Once you get them, if you want to take a picture and post it, we'll put it on Instagram and Twitter and everything else. We thank you for the support. $2 from every shirt goes to Scars Foundation. We still have shirts available, so if you'd like to buy one, reach out to us. We can do that as well. Um, in terms of the Jets, you know, Coach Sala is doing something very interesting. They hired uh, Matt Burke for a, a game manager, a game management kind of position. And the, I think it's phenomenal because the one thing that Coach Sala is trying to do, he's trying to be CEO of the team. He's trying to manage all different things, but he's also going to delegate and try to accumulate as much information as possible. Like on offense, they got a run game coordinator, they got a passing game specialist. You have all these different guys, all these different guys that's going to have all kinds of analytics. Then you have a guy that kind of oversees game management, whether that's the rules, clock management, substitutions, whatever it is. And that's another thing to take away from him to keep his focus on the field and things that matter the most. So I know people are kind of kind of poo-pooing it and discounting it, but for a first-time head coach, you want to have a sh very strong staff around you to help offset any deficiencies or your learning curve. So I think this is very smart from Coach Sala, and I, I think it's just exciting that he's willing to do that. He, he's not scared to admit a potential weakness and address it. So nobody's going to really talk about it, but I think it's it's a very I think the staff he's putting together is interesting. A good mix of veterans, you know, and some you know younger guys or some newer coaches, and we'll see what happens. So again, thank you for all the support. We definitely appreciate it. Thank you for buying the shirts. Um, mini camp is in the mid of June. You know, the next couple of weeks is going to be really slow. The OTAs, you don't get a lot of information. But uh, if anything does break, if they sign a backup quarterback or a cornerback or whatever else, we'll be sure to talk about it. And uh, that's it. Talk to you later.